subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell icon. Thank you. Hello, my wonderful people and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm here to give you an interesting update coming from NSAS protest. Nigerians threatening protest as court grants CBN request to freeze Winu others' accounts. A cross-section of Nigerians has threatened to protest after the court granted the request of the Central Bank of Nigeria to freeze the accounts of 19 individuals and a public affairs company linked to the ENSAS protest. It was reported that the request filed by the CVN in October 20th was granted by Justice Ahmed Mohammed of Federal High Court in Abuja. The court order directed all head offices of Assets Bank, Fidelity Bank, First Bank of Nigeria, Guarantee Trust Bank, United Bank of Africa, and Zenith Bank directed the banks to freeze all transactions on the 20 accounts on the list for a period of 180 days pending the outcome of investigation and inquiry conducted by the CBN. Some of the affected individuals include Bolatito Rachel Odwala, Chima David, Mary Duz, Sadat Temitope Bibi, Basil Victor Israel, Wisdom Obi. Others affected are Nicholas Osazele, Ebere Idibi, Akin Tomide Larry Yusuf, Uho Ezenwai Promise, and Odeseye. Why others are Adegoke Yusuf, Umo Grace, Babatunde Victor Shegun, Mulu Louis, Mary, Winifred, Victor Solomon, Iduni, and Gatefield Nigeria Limited. The lawyers representing the CBN were led by the former Attorney General of the Federation, Michael Adoka Sam. A mandatory order is made empowering the plaintiff or applicant to direct the head office of the Assets Bank of Nigeria, PLC, Fidelity Bank, PLC, First Bank of Nigeria, PLC, Guarantee Trust Bank, PLC, United Bank of African, PLC, and Zenith Bank, PLC to freeze all transactions forthcoming on the 20 bank accounts listed for 90 days pending the outcome of the investigation and the inquiry currently being conducted by the Central Bank of Nigeria. It is, however, directed that the 90 days freezing order, when it elapses, may be renewed upon good cause shown by the applicant. It is also directed that any person, whether artificial or natural, that is affected by this order may apply to the court to have his grievance or complaint heard by the court. The suit is adjourned till Friday 4th, 2021, part of the order read. This has stirred reactions from Nigeria who blatantly condemned the Buhari-led administration for pressing some Niger from use. Some Nigerians threatened to hit the street again to protest operation, even as others called for withdrawal of Renu and other members from the judicial panel set up to investigate alleged cases of police brutality. Here are some of the reactions that I gathered from the Twitter. One of the comments says, Central Bank just freezed their bank accounts of Renu, Pamilering, and some major youths who use their bank accounts to receive donations for the ENSAS movement. For how long are we going to continue to live in fear of the people who are supposed to serve us? The next person stated, let me keep it up. They are showing us the kind of leaders that they are, they are and simply getting us prepared for 2023. We need good plans to knock these rogues. We need leaders out. We, we, people. The next comment said, Omo, make we resume this protest. This tensioning and bullying is plenty. One other person said, this should even make us hit the street again, and that panel can can wait till they decide to be serious. There is no need continuing with that panel. Then again, I have CBN has now become so idle that it is its most pressing mandate 
is chasing the courts for an order to freeze the accounts of 19 individuals and a company that supported the NSAS movement, but asked them to strengthen the Naira against the dollar and the mission becomes impossible. Then I have Savi Rooney. So Savi Rooney bank account was frozen even while on judicial panel. These people have no respect for the future of this country. The next person said, So Rinu is serving on the SAS judicial panel for Lagos State, born of the NSAS protest. But checks note, her account has been frozen for taking part in the protest in the first place. One other person said, Protest resumes on Monday, CBN. Godwin Emefele have started it. We will finish it for him. Then again, I have a second wave, a Dutch resilient second wave of instance protests. Those people's regime of Muhammad Buhari must stop. Enough with the panel. Godwin Emefili has been sent in. They, they need to send soldiers to pick people at their homes before we understand it is bad already. The next person said, the police are killing us. The governors are hiding palliatives and stealing state funds. The military are killing and maltreating us. The CBN is freezing accounts. Oppression everywhere. We are tired of this country called Nigeria and SARS now. I have one other comment that reads, the federal government and the CBN should not be blocking accounts and dragging young people to court in one break and asking young people to come sit down and talk in another. They need to rebuild confidence trust and allow the, this issue die down while ensuring justice for victims i then have this country stinks if i were to be Rino or Dwala, i would have withdrawn myself from the useless and fake judicial panel set up by insensitive governments i would have urged every youth representatives to do so judicial <clears throat> sorry judicial panel is a shame how the hell will a democratic government freeze people's accounts and seize people's passports simply because they size their fundamental human rights? What is this Nigerian turning into? Are we back in the military regime? Then the next comment reads, How many corrupt politicians' accounts have been frozen and listed out to the public to see? Useless government. I have again. I think it is high time we shut down Nigerian. Let's cuckoo fight the fight once and for all. Then the last comment on this says, Judicial panel is a distraction for two weeks. Nothing has been achieved. They just used it to wind down the NSAS protest. I wish it can continue in the street again. All right, my wonderful people. This is the news I have for you. Saying that Nigerians threaten to protest again on the street as court grants CBN request to freeze Reno and other people's accounts. If I'm to say the government are looking for trouble again, when the instance protest was going on, the government pleaded, the officials pleaded with the Nigerian youth that they should calm down the protest that something will be done about it. But barely a few days after the protest was, um, was kept or stopped, they went ahead to create a judicial panel for all the states saying that they are investigating the NSAS protests, what led to the shootings, the Lekitoge shootings, and what led to police brutality protests and all that, all those bullshit. While the, while the judicial panel was still going on, they went ahead to freeze accounts of all the NSAS protests, all the NSAS promoters, and prevented them from traveling outside the country. They have done their worst, and Nigerians are threatening to hit back on the streets. They are not happy with it at all. Even obvious the came the other day and blasted President Buhari, telling him that why other nations are trying to figure out their post-COVID priorities and strategies. What do you think your own country is doing? That Buhari is busy with his repressive ass against the youth citizen, the young citizens, who merely asked to be allowed to leave by the police, his supervisors. All right, my wonderful people, these and many more are the comments coming from Nigerians. But remember that you too can also become part of this discussion by dropping your opinion and what you think concerning this at the comment section. Do I subscribe to this channel. See you in my next video. Thank you.